Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio here with the August Design Team video for Gina B. Aaron's Design Team. This one has been in the works since I became a Design Team member. When they said what the theme was for August, I went nuts. I looked around and I found the perfect project and I've been waiting all these months to do this. This is something that's out of my comfort zone. Um, I've never made anything like this before. And I'm very excited about it. Ah. Okay, so um, let me explain some stuff in the video. I tried to show you all the different colors of ink pads that I use, but I'm going to have to do this either to speed it up to either two or four times the speed because it, it took me about four hours to do this. And I kept stopping and starting and stopping and starting. And um, it was a little bit tedious. So I started out with one concept gessoed over it, did another one, gessoed over that, and tried to sand it away. Finally, I gave up and just gessoed for the third time, and ta-da, third time was charm. And the third, the third one is the one that is the final project, and that's the one that you'll see about halfway through the video. It, you'll see it and go like, well, why does it look like that? That's because I deleted the other stuff off of there. I really didn't want you to see what kind of train wrecks I had on the other two. So I spared you the agony and me the embarrassment. <laughs> all right, so that explains why halfway through the video, it's going to look a little weird because all of a sudden, ta-da, she has this, I have this stuff. And you'll understand once you see it, why it looks so odd. But I wasn't going to show the other two things because they were just horrendously ugly. I mean, whoa. Please, they were just horrible. You know, you, have, you start out with a concept in mind and then you know what you want and when it doesn't happen, you do everything possible to make it happen or sometimes you decide that what was in your mind is not as good as what has turned out and you'll be, you'll be okay with that. But I was determined to make this work. I've been thinking about this project for eight months now about how I wanted to make it and I was determined to make it turn out the way I really wanted it to be and I'm so excited about the way it turned out. All right, so let me start the video and stop talking. See you on the other side.
Okay, so here is the finished product without the camera reflecting in the, there's a mirror, so I cut a piece of paper here so you're not looking up at the mirror the whole time I'm talking with the ceiling fan going whack, 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 whack. All right, so here is the finished board. It's a, um, a frame, it was just a plain, ordinary, unfinished frame with a um, mirror in the back, and I've had it for like six years now. I did put the little sawtooth hanger on the back so I can hang it up. I wanted this to be whimsical and outside of my comfort zone. A lot of you know me uh, that I like to doodle and I love black and white, but I thought that I needed some color, something to cheer me up, something that was bright and different. So this is what I ended up with. I knew I wanted to do flowers and Gina's um, stencils are perfect for that. And they, and then the, the one that was supposed to be a tulip, I used for like fake butterflies that look like leaves sort of, and then used them for leaves. And then the swirly one I used for unusual leaves. I needed to break up the monotony of these. Um, then I drew the black little, um, I think they're called pretemps, which are the little, you know, these little thingies here on the bottom and put white on the top so it went from dark to lighter. Uh, my local hardware store, which is not a big box st store, had, when I went in to look for something else for yet another project, the lady took me in the back and, and told me that these were on sale for 99 cents a piece. I couldn't get that at Hobby Lobby if I wanted to. These are rather large knobs. The outside of them are a little bit bigger than a quarter, so they're pretty heavy duty knobs. And this has been hanging on the wall all afternoon. Now, it is behind my door on top of where my um, quilling paper is, but my door usually stays shut while I'm in here so I can look at it all day, every day. Um, and then I'm going to hang stuff that people have gifted to me on the knobs. That's what it's for, is to hang things that people have sent me that can hang. And I'm going to, they're already filled. <laughs> they're already filled. So this was my out of the comfort zone art project for design, for Gina's design team video. And I have to tell you, when you do something that gets you excited, you just hardly can't stand it. I'm doing like the happy dance in my chair because I just love the way this turned out. This is so not what I usually produce, but I'm just very excited about the way it turned out. Son of a gun. <laughs> Who knew? Anyway, so that's it. I will see you guys in September. Thanks for watching. And please, don't forget, check out Gina's Etsy store. All these stencils, all this stuff came from her Etsy store from about four or five different stencils. So if you want stencils that you can use for more than one way, go look at her store. She has some great stencils in there. All right, so I will see you guys in September for the next Design Team Challenge. Toodles.